Hey, what's going on Ecom grads? So just as the title says, we're gonna be taking debut and we're gonna be adding premium features, you know, premium features to the debut theme. Now, you know, most of the time you gotta go pay $180, $200, or pay some monthly app subscription to enable these kind of features um, uh, within another premium theme. But, you know, a lot, I know, understand a lot of you guys don't have that kind of budget and you wanna spend your money elsewhere building your business rather than spending it on a theme. Now, my job is to teach you how to use free things and make them even better to make your business even better. So we're going to be adding, you know, a few uh, features to the theme today. But this is going to be an ongoing series where I go in and modify this theme. And hopefully by the end of the series, you're able to have a, you know, somewhat premium theme to benefit your business. So now I'm working on page sections today. Um, and it's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, obviously, if you don't have the technical know-how, it's a lot more difficult. But that's where I come in to help you. So, you know, we're, right now I'm looking at this page. And in order to achieve this, you have to know HTML, right? So I go in here, and you got to know all this fun stuff. But we're not going to do that. Now, it's not going to look identical when I'm done. But I'm going to show you, excuse me, how to add all these new features. And right now, there aren't any, there's only a page.context. We're going to create a page section template. And I have a lot of this already done. Um, there's only three features that I've added, but again, this is an ongoing series. So we've got our sections right here, the file, and then we've got our snippets that we're gonna need. And you're gonna be able to get these files by joining the group and uh, joining and downloading it. That's what, that's what it's all stored on there. And every time I make an update, I'll update the file. But, all right, so we've got page sections and page content, and I'll tell you exactly how to add this. Then, and let me do it real quick. You know, my last video, um, I guess I was talking too fast, and I don't know if that was how I edited the video, so probably not going to be editing these, these videos. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to ramble, so I try to cut that out, but if you guys can follow along and just deal with me, then I'm all for it, because I don't really want to edit the video. <laughs> all right, so in this folder, oh, you've got it. There was a pause button on Discord, but there is on Discord on... Uh, OBS, but there isn't. Reveal and show and explore. There we go. Okay. All right. So you're going to have a folder. It's going to be called uh, debut, uh, debut Tweaks. There's going to be a page sections. And what you got to do is you'll go into your theme. So let me go in and just snap these together. And in your theme editor, so you go to, when you get into your dashboard, you go into your online store. You click on edit code like so and you see these little folders right here how it says sections snippets you just got to follow along with this with this folder so in sections you're going to go in and create a section so sections file so we'll go and type in page hyphen sections and then you're going to go into your text editor and you can just open this up with Notepad if you want. So open with the program. I use Atom, I use Notepad++, Visual Studio Code. But for most people, you're most likely just gonna have Notepad. We're gonna click on Notepad. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up a file like this. All you gotta do right here is click Highlight All. And if you're feeling really clever, you can do Control A on your keyboard or Command A on Mac. And then right click, copy. And we're just going to get rid of all of this. We're going to paste it in. Paste. Hit save. Now we're going to have to create a template. I, didn't, I, I forgot that step. So you're going to click on add new template right here. Right? We're going to drop down, go to page, and just call it sections. Sections. And then what you want to do is get rid of this completely. And then we're going to type in this little squiggly section, single quotes, page, sections. Another single quote, space, percent, squiggly, right? And what I'll do is I will have this file in the, uh, in the download, but if you're following along this tutorial and you do it manually, you can do that. But like I said, you'll have, you'll have a folder called template. Just how you have folders called sections and snippets, I'll have a template folder right here, new folder. Templates, make a new file, call it text document, 
this that this way you have this. So we're gonna do page period sections dot liquid like so. Yes. I'll just copy what I did here. That way, you guys are we can close out this file now that we already saved it. We'll go open this up in my editor. Paste. Save. We'll save this as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add our snippets. We can close out of these. These are all set. Go to snippets. Go to here and see what snippets we got. We've got an image with text, a page content, and a rich text. Cool. And then this video later on, I'm going to teach you how to actually go and create dynamic blocks. And you can use a lot of the files that I'm using as templates for yourself. If you're trying to learn, if you're, if you're new to Shopify development, um, just use my files as a template. You know, follow along. That's how I learned Shopify. I went in, I picked things apart. I kind of understood. I'm like, oh, wow. So this goes here. This goes there. It's, it's kind of, you know, pulling things apart, just figuring out how it works. And if you have previous programming knowledge, then this will be even easier. So now we've got, like I said, an image with text. So we're going to click on add new snippet. I'm going to do image hyphen with hyphen text. Hit enter. Now again, we'll open this up with Notepad. You know what I'll do? So if you actually have your Notepad open, you can do this. And then again, we just do Control A. Oh, Control A. And then uh, copy, or if you're one of those people who want to do this, you can do that too. Copy. Let me show you guys different ways of doing things. So I'll just hit save. Close out of that one now. So now we're going to go and do page content. So page hyphen content. I keep closing on notepad like an idiot. We'll just close out of this stuff and we'll do this. Save. That. Going too fast. I'm trying my best to slow it down. Close this. And so this, I'm going to go and copy that. Now we're going to create another snippet called I do page content. Go too fast myself. Okay, so this was I gotta do page hyphen content. Page hyphen content. I get to I get ahead of myself. Okay, so it just didn't update, that's why. Yeah, so there is a page content. Now it shows up. Gotcha. So now we're gonna do rich content, rich text, rich text and then this is the rich text snippet copy I'll just I'll just redo that so you guys can follow I apologize I'll get better as I make more videos you know some stuff right now so I'm a little bit flustered and I had to make a video to take my mind off of it so click save now if all goes well you should be able to go here refresh this page and just so you can see on the customizer there aren't any settings here you will see settings here so go here page sections hit save refresh. now there's nothing right there's nothing there I don't know why but we'll figure that out now I'm going to go into the customizer Refresh the customizer, page sections. Now if we click on page content, it'll show it. Now, there are some bugs, so let's figure out what those issues are and why it's not centering it. But for the most part, we now have rich text. Talk about your brands. We've got a, an image with text area, so you can kind of do some cool things. And then, you know, we can also work on this and add new settings. So see how there's no there's no space or gap between here so it looks kind of crowded we can move these things around now awesome stuff we'll hit save and then i'm going to go back to this page refresh and just inspect what's going on now you're going to learn some trial and error 
you know, techniques that I use when I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So we click on here, inspect L, and we'll probably see that most likely this isn't in the container. Computer would stop being. So back here, and we'll see that okay, it's in a container. I don't know. It's We, what we can do is we can move that, we can make a full width if we want. X. We can do a pretty way of doing this. this quick and dirty way, throw it in a center tag. Or what we can do is go back, go to page content, and I could be missing something. So the best way to do that is you go to your templates, go to your page contact or your page page and you see how it says page with section content so it most likely doesn't have these divs with those classes I'm gonna go back to our snippets I'm gonna go page content and would you look at that I don't have the right anything so we're gonna go to our page we're just gonna grab this and replace that and then if we refresh Voila, it's fixed. See how I did that trial and error? You know, it, it, Shopify has default templates. Your theme will have default templates. A lot of what I'm showing you right now will work on other themes. You know, you'll be able to do the same thing. Some things may not work properly. You know, it depends on, you know, maybe there's a JavaScript issue. Maybe, uh, you know, they're, they're looking for certain things only on the home page that aren't on those pages. So, but what I'm showing you will all work across the board on all three themes. Awesome. Now we've got all these features, but we've got this ugly gap right here. You know, so we can probably create some sort of setting, which I could do in another video. For the most part, we can go in and you know we could always add a you know a margin top, margin hyphen top. You know we can add like you know 10 pixels. You know if you really want, and we can add a setting like that. We can add a setting, you know, so you can adjust the spacing. Which we do that. When you guys get the files, you'll have these settings in. So what we're going to do is with image with text, I'm going to add an option so you can change the pixels of uh, the margin top and bottom. So how do we do that, right? So now we're going to have to go into our page section section file, which that's a mouthful. Uh, right here, page sections, right here. And what I like to do is I like to take those little shortcuts, right? So I have let's see, text. So if you ever want to get settings, just go to Google Shopify. Shopify, go oh, Shopify. Setting setting scheme. Go on here, and then I go configure theme settings. As you can tell, I go here quite often. I just do Control F text. Uh, area or just text straight up text text there we go text and I'll grab their little demo and I'll go into and I'll have the link to this description and then what I'll do is I'll go find image with text so this is the image picker so now we've got our settings here and what I'll do is we've got this here I'll add the setting right below here right Leaf. Leaf. If you guys didn't know, you can actually edit multiple lines at the same time by holding the control button. So, and uh, trying to line this up. And so now what we'll do is we'll call this uh, margin top, margin top, copy that. We've got to add a comma after that, and I'll do margin bottom, margin bottom. And what I'll do is edit both lines at the same time. Adjust margin, and then after that, I will margin top. I'll do just margin bottom. bottom. We'll get rid of the defaults because I don't like the defaults for things like this. 
You know what, actually? I'll add defaults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do npx. Do 10px. Go here. And then what we'll do is we'll do something quick and dirty um, in the file. So now in order to... I, I do. I forgot my comma. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're going to go... And now we got to open up the... Um, where is it? Image with text. Right here, because I we can add a style. Or we can, we can just add a custom CSS class, but you know what? We'll just do inline style. Oh, actually, we'll add a custom class. And we'll do margin hyphen bottom, margin hyphen top. Then what we'll do is we'll add a inline style. I don't advise having inline styles, but it's okay to have a few, but it's not something you want to do. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a class called CSS class, period, margin, hyphen, top. Then we're going to do margin, hyphen, bottom. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly that margin space top colon and then we'll do our oh you know what oh yeah this is fine cool now what we got to do is we got to go back to our sections and now we know we named it margin top right so this is how you create settings uh, we'll do this block dot settings dot blah just like that whoops that. And then what's what's cool is we already know what it is. We'll just copy and paste. Time, you know, spend time wisely. So now we'll just do the margin bottom. Copy. And then we'll do margin bottom. Now that should work. It should. Now if we go back here to our editor, we should have some editors. Oh. Yep. Yep. So look now if we change this to you know fifty margin bottom, you know, if we change this to 50, there you go. Now if we want to have this setting, right? Let's uh let's do something like make this difference section ID or the block ID rather, block ID. That way, it's not stuck. No, it's not stuck in place. And again, you don't need to know what I'm doing, but good for you to know. But you'll be able to copy and paste this, and everything will work properly. If you're really interested in learning how to do these things, I know I move a little bit fast, but there we go. Let's save. Oh, right, save. Uh, go so we know it's working now what we can do is we can actually add this to every single block to make it even better so go here go to uh, the other one we have the page content we've got text so we'll do this right here we can actually go grab those, copy these over. So now you also have settings for that. Text. Save. We'll copy those settings. And we'll click on the rich text. Text. Type is. It's uh, sometimes staring at this these these uh, little face on for your block is kind of a pain. Because okay, 
I was obviously. Let's just find hyphen rich hyphen text. Text. Check default width box. And what we'll do here is we'll just add settings right here. Hit save. Now, our rich text, we should now have a setting. Not something. Special. Here, text. Check and see if it's going. Margin top. Not working. All right. Why? Why it's not? Back down. Oh, you know. What? <laughs> I done something. No. Uh, margin working. Oh no, it's moving the bottom, okay. That's why. So it, it wasn't, there wasn't enough. If I make this like 100, there we go. So it is working. All right, I did do it right. Yes, I did something right in my life. Hell yes. Okay. Uh, let's go add it to, well, you know what? You guys already saw it. You probably don't want to see it, see that. But now you have custom section settings. Now, how to go in and convert, a, you know what? make that another video if you guys all subscribe and smash the like button I'll make this I'll make a video on how to actually turn your theme sections that are from your home page and use them on product pages on pages collections anywhere you want to use them I'll teach you how to do that so you'll be able to have all these options but I got Arizona will just love it. but all these settings right here, you'll be able to go in and put on any page, any anywhere you want. So if you guys smash the like button, and subscribe, and comment that you want me to do that, made it through that this way through this long through the video. Congratulations, we're awesome. Thank you. So I'll do that if you guys do what I said. Comment, like, subscribe. All right. And until next time, guys, I'm gonna make another video teaching. Thanks for watching, as always.